Okay, now go to your VM what we have created for delivery controller. Okay. Now log in over there with your domain user account. Can you please maximize this so that like, you know, it will be visible to us. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Now mount that ISO media uh, at uh, on that machine. Mm -hmm. No, no, you do not need to copy man. Uh, minimize this, wait, 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 wait. Go to the VMware console, go to the VMware console. Mm -hmm. Now, right click on uh, this uh, virtual machine. Go to, yeah, right click on the virtual machine. Okay, virtual machine. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, from here, mount that ISO media. That CD DVD man, CD DVD drive. Yeah, yeah, I did. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I do not come here. Uh, I saw you have to check where you have copied it, man. <laughs> Yeah, let me cancel it. So, um, let me see. Did you bring uh, me go here? To here? So, ISO. Um, <coughs> and I have here ISO. Okay, so it's not in the citrus folder. So yeah, yeah, you have copied it in the ISO. Okay. So now uh, mount it over there. Yeah. So, go back to the VM. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, no, 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 no. Click on cancel. Click on cancel. <clears throat> okay, now I'll go back to the yeah, yeah, okay, there you go. Okay, make it full screen. There you go. Perfect. Now, uh, click on this PC, okay. yeah, mm -hmm. right click on DVD drive. Click on install or run the program. And that session, it will be very, very boring and very, very longer, man. So that installation, it will take a lot of time, actually. <laughs> so if you install the uh, director? What we, yes. What we are doing, we are just installing uh -huh. the things. No configuration here so far, OK? So. OK. Wait, uh, wait, 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 do not click here and there. So mm -hmm. in Citrix, we are having two options. Either we can create a delivery controller to publish uh, applications only, or also mm -hmm. we can configure delivery controller to publish application and desktop both. Desktop means okay. the VDI for end user, okay? okay? So as we have to learn both the things, so we will go with the second option, right? But in your test right. lab, you can configure delivery controller for applications also, okay? But right now, I will go with the second option. Why? Because I have to show you both the things, okay? okay. Now, here, as you can see, oh. we are having multiple uh, options to configure the servers like director studio it means each and every component uh, is there in a single ISO package. Oh, okay, got it. 
okay so right now we have to configure the delivery controller so click on the delivery controller yeah Okay, before that, just uh, <coughs> let me know how much memory you have given to uh, this uh, machine. So, I think eight, I think. Yeah, eight GB means, yeah, it should be eight GB at least. Yeah. Uh, perfect. Okay, okay. Okay, close that. Now accept the license and click on next. Now listen to me carefully on that screen. As we are into the test lab, so what we will do, we will configure <coughs> delivery controller along with the studio director and license server, all those components on a single machine, okay? But in production, you will find separate server for director, separate server for license server. And studio, you have to install it on delivery controller for sure. Okay. You cannot uncheck the studio. Any doubt? Got it. Got it. Mm -hmm. mm. Click on next. Now, along with the core components, like in production, you will find separate colleagues uh, who uh, will be managing the database that is known as the sql server right but uh, in our case we will configure sql express in the single machine and it will be used as a Again? database yeah tell me the, yeah the volume is breaking up a little bit over for me mm. yeah. is it fine bro right now uh, there might be some network glitch. I'm not sure what is happening. Okay. So, am I clear now? Yeah, it was. <coughs> Guys, can you hear me now? Yes. Yes. I think I lost my internet connection. I'm not sure what was happened. Okay. Uh, my voice is clear. Is it? No problem. Yeah. Yes. Mm, okay. So, yeah. Okay. So, uh, at this uh, particular, uh, you know, screen, what I was telling you is that, like, you know, along with the other core components, we are going to install the SQL Server on a same machine. Okay. But uh, in production, you have nothing to do with your SQL Server. Why? Because you will find separate team who are the database engineers and these engineers are responsible to manage, to backup and to restore the SQL database, okay? I think you guys are working in corporate and you know that thing, right? Any doubt here? Uh, no. Yeah, but for our understanding, we are going to install the SQL server. Why? Because we are into the test infra and we must know how SQL server work as a database. Any doubt? Mm -hmm. Ryan, Philip, are you? Yes. Okay? yes. Okay. Click on next. Okay. One more thing. Oh, wait, wait, wait. <coughs> Can anyone explain what is uh, that uh, second component? Windows remote, remote assistant. assistant. Yes. What is that? I need answer from any of you, man. You can answer. Uh, it's a very, very basic thing. Yeah, that's the one you asked. Uh, you can remote in and help somebody with their computer issues. Something. Windows Assistant, I think. Something that if I've not used it at all, but I know you can request access to help somebody from Windows. Yeah, basically that is a tool from the Microsoft Microsoft, and from with the help of this particular tool, you can shadow your end user screen means whatever is going on on your end user uh, video screen, you can shadow 
on your laptop mm-hmm. or desktop so that is very very useful tool for the troubleshooting if uh, any of uh, your end user is complaining like he is unable to do so and so or whatever the issue right so you can take a shadow you can see what is the error what is where user is clicking and whatever the scenario is going on right so that is a basic uh, specific tool with the help of that tool you can shadow the end user session shadow means you can mirror uh, the end user uh, session uh, on your screen okay in real time any doubt yes okay guys go ahead click on next okay very 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 important from for your interview perspective or means whatever is your plan future for say takes or if you are going to join anything so these are the very very important port numbers uh, which will be uh, used in setix so delivery controller uh, it will use port number 80 and 443 like uh, 80 is for http and uh, 443 for https director will use the same port numbers and very very important for the license server uh, license server the important port number is 27000 okay so this port number you must have to remember uh, only three port numbers 80 443 and 27000 that's it okay you should be able to answer if someone ask you okay okay any doubt guys okay okay click yes, on next sir. click on next my network is fluctuating today i'm not sure what is happening yeah we are in india na so india mein hi chalta hai okay uh, click on next okay <coughs> wait for it okay it takes some time okay but so now we are into the so now we are into the very very boring segment so what it will do at the top you can see the installation directory that is c program file and c tricks and then it will install uh, some prerequisites along with sql server then uh, microsoft iis services then it will install the uh, core components delivery controller studio license server director and then it will install uh, some features and then it will open some firewalls in windows server during the installation and that installation it will take uh, as per my experience it will take up to uh, 45 minutes so click on install and let's wait on batch right now it is showing 15 minute remaining but yeah after some time it will show you can see 99 minutes remaining right so this is kind of like the software part of the of the citrix like software components and the database yeah right What now right now we have like right now we have not created side we have uh, configured nothing okay we are just installing mm-hmm. the things okay so mm-hmm. that installation part it will take uh, some time so Uh, okay so philips like uh, yeah uh, like uh, <coughs> after some time it will prompt you to uh, restart the server okay during the installation okay, okay. so no problem you just have to click okay and you have to log in with the same user account from which you have initiated the installation okay mm-hmm. and then it will automatically resume the installation again okay so you have nothing to do okay oh okay sir it will take up to 45 minutes or maybe 1 hour so that is the installation part only right so we yeah. cannot uh, you know uh, wait and watch okay means i hope you mm-hmm. can understand that the installation is going on right yeah yeah okay guys in the meantime if you guys have anything any point any uh, query any doubt in your mind you can ask it will take some time that installation part Okay. Um, uh, mm-hmm. um tomorrow mm-hmm. uh when I get my hard rate together mm-hmm. do you want to go ahead and install uh uh the Citrix hypervisor on my um Yeah, server? I will do it. I will do it for you. Okay. okay. All right. 
and yeah but before that na like uh, uh, like your tomorrow means my today right correct so uh, like uh, when uh, like what is your plan like when you will get the things like uh, how much uh, time uh, will it take well i work um you know i work daily i usually when i get when i mean when i get home mm -hmm. as soon as i get home i'm gonna try to, i'm gonna get it going to set everything up i just need one cable for my um no no um, I, i'm just asking for the timing like uh, like uh, right now it means four hours five hours six hours seven hours like how much uh, time will it take Oh, I mean, um, it's going to be from now, it's going to be tomorrow for me. Yeah, yeah, I go to... yeah. Like uh, tomorrow for you, but it will be today for me, no? Uh, you are into right. the night, man, right? And I'm in the morning, right? <laughs> Not in the morning. Oh, I got yeah. you, I understand. So 12 hours, no, it's going to be later than that. It's going to be after you get up. Because I'm going to go wake up in the morning, go to work when I come home from work. Um, unless, uh, you know, I, you know, I could consider taking the day off also to get it done in the morning. That'll be your day also. Okay. So do one thing, do one thing. Whenever you will get it now, just uh, ping me separately or you can call me separately or if required now, I will share a uh, one zoom session with you separately. Okay. Okay. And, and uh, like, uh, that will be a only one hour zoom call and I will uh, guide you how to uh, configure your hardware as a Citrix hypervisor, okay? Okay. Okay, Sounds so, good. yeah, but, uh, but yeah, the thing is that please uh, be ready with your uh, hardware and uh, I need uh, one, uh, I want you to be ready with uh, one uh, USB drive uh, with at least uh, 8 GB in size, 8 GB or at least 4 GB in size, okay? Yeah, I got that together already. Um... Okay, so, just yeah. uh, just ping I, me, I, I, just ping me, and I will let you uh, know my suitable time. Yes. No, yeah. you know, we can we can do it together tomorrow's class because uh, I want to. You want to see. You want to see that. You want yeah. to see that, uh, right? Yeah, I want to see on it. I want to install it also. I've got two servers today, but to do that. Okay, so you want to see it? Okay, so, uh, Ryan. Yes. Mm, mm, hmm, 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 hmm. How we can do that? Like, uh, if he want to see that, so uh, we can like, do it in our class, like no, no. class. No, 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 no. It it is not no. about the, no, no. It is not about the tomorrow class. The thing is that now, huh? like, uh, uh, when we will be guiding uh, Ryan to install uh -huh. the hypervisor, we will not uh -huh. be able to see the screen, right? Why? Because, oh, yeah, because awesome. he, he will be directly installing the OS on the hardware, right? So, oh, you know, uh, if you have, if you have HP server, you could uh, do the ILO and ILO, 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 do you have, uh, Ryan? Yeah. Huh? ILO port you have, or which server you have with you? Is it it's HP one or Dell one? What is that? Um, I have an Intel that I got today. Mm, I'm not sure about Intel. Okay. So what you can do, Rian, uh, like, uh, uh, <coughs> you can join the meeting with your laptop. Okay. And mm -hmm. you can, uh, you can like, you know, uh, turn on your camera. Okay. okay. And you can, yeah, you can put uh, your camera at the front of your monitor. Okay. Okay. I understand. Okay, so in that way, like uh, me and Philip both will be able to see. Okay, I understand. Uh, Philip, I hope that that will work. Okay, yeah, yeah definitely. Mm -hmm. I, I, um, I actually, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna send you separately. I'm gonna send you the um, the hardware I got today, new hardware I bought today for this, uh, the, for the lab purposes, because uh. The servers that I had were quite uh, loud and um, big. Uh, and Ryan, I also want to tell you uh, one thing, like, uh, let me stop the recording. Why? Because only installation is going on. So uh, let me stop the recording.